Hey everyone, it's Sahara. So I've got a really fun pick a card reading for you guys, and this one's called What Are Their Truest Intentions With You? So I've got a group of cards here on the left, and this one answers the type of relationship that this person shows or says that they want to have with you. And these group of cards answer what are their truest intentions with you? What type of relationship do they really want with you? And, you know, what do they really, what, like, what are their desires? Where do they want to go with you? Um, and because, you know, let's be real. A lot of people say that they want one thing, but in their heart of hearts, they want something else, okay? So I ran into so many guys that act like they want something more, but, you know, they really want to waste my time. So, <laughs> yeah. So I want you guys to think of the lover that you have in mind. It could be an ex or someone that you're currently dating. Um, close your eyes and pick one card from the magenta group and that will tell you what type of relationship they show or say that they want to have with you and pick a card from the blue group and this will tell you their truest intentions toward you. If you need more time, pause the video, but I will be diving right in. All right, so... Let's take a look at what this person shows or says they want with you. Okay, the Seven of Pentacles. So this person has given you the impression that they're wondering whether this relationship is worth um, the investment. Like, is this something worth my while? Is this something that I'm um, gonna end up wasting my time on? So uh, there's something very contemplative about this person. You know, like, hmm, I don't know if this is going to work out. So there are, like, several categories of people that represent um, this card in love and relationships. So, number one, you have the thinkers, the contemplators. So they're always, like, in this pondering stage and thinking about whether the relationship is something that they want to jump into. And number two, you have the pragmatic people. And practical and they think of relationships like a business like oh if I invest my time effort and resources into this will I get the profit and results that I want and so if this person has already put a lot of effort into this relationship and they're not seeing the results that they want it's very likely that this person's gonna want to cut their losses and walk away and then you have um, people who aren't hopeful that this relationship can turn into anything successful and they already feel like the relationship is going to fail. So yeah, those are three characters that I can pull from this card and at least um, one of those represent your lover or whoever you have in mind and um, what they've conveyed to you or showed to you about the type of relationship that they want from you um, or their intentions toward you. So yeah, so after this, you can fast forward to the blue section and choose a card from the blue side and see their truest intentions with you. Okay? All right, let's move on to number two and let's take a look at what are, what do they say or show that they want with you? Okay, so we have the two of pentacles. So this is someone who has given you the impression that they want something very easy breezy and go with the flow, nothing too serious. Um, and this person might also be giving you like mixed signals or, or playing hot and cold or be very confusing. But this is my favorite quote from Maya Angelou. She always says love is never confused. And so if they're confused and they're confusing you and that means it's not really love because love is not supposed to be confusing and it's supposed to be sure, you know, it's supposed to be certain. Um, but anyway, this person wants to have fun with you. This person wants to enjoy your company, you know, but they're not trying to settle down, get married, have kids, and have a white picket fence. Um, not even on their radar. Um, you mentioned commitment and this person will hit the ground running. So this is someone who has shown you that they don't want to commit and they don't want to have to deal with like the hard work that comes with relationships. They just want something non-committal and free flowing and either they told you that personally face to face or they've communicated they've communicated that to you or their actions have clearly shown that they're not really looking for anything serious so make sure you check out the blue section and figure out what are their truest intentions toward you 
All right, so we have card number three. Let's see what type of intentions that they convey or say um, they have toward you. Okay, so we have the Ace of Pentacles. So this person gives you the impression that <laughs> they see um, potential with this relationship. Maybe they feel like it could grow into something more. They see that there's something special with you and maybe things could develop in the future with a little bit more effort and commitment. So remember, this card describes what they convey to you as what they want and what they've told you at least or at least shown you but you're gonna have to pick a blue card to see where they really are with this relationship do they truly did they truly whether if this was an ex you can figure out whether they truly had true intentions with you or if this is a current lover check the blue section to figure out where they're at in regards to their direction and destination with you all right so Let's move on to number four and let's see their truest intentions with you. Ooh, another ace. Sorry. Let's see what they show or convey their um, intentions are. And then we're going to look at the blue section to figure out what they are really looking at or what they really want from you. Okay. So the ace of wands. So something about this person makes you think that they want something more on the sexual side so maybe like a friends with benefits type of thing um <laughs> they want passion and they want to make love not even so much making love because i don't even think it's as pretty sounding as that I, I feel like they want something uglier and raunchier like like this person wants to jump your bones yeah that's a better <laughs> that's a better quote um, they want something quick and dirty, something, not something lovey-dovey or anything like that. They want to experience your body and touch you in all the right places. At least that's what you get the impression that they want, okay? Um, you, you just get that sense that this is more on the lust side and less on the love side. Very hot and steamy. It's clear that they're attracted to you. Um, but ch again, check the blue section to figure out what their truest intentions are. Because this one shows you what they're conveying or saying to you, which may or may not align with what they really want. All right, guys, let's move on to the blue section. And these cards describe their truest intentions toward you. All right, let me move them over a little bit. All right, so if you chose number one, let's see what their truest intentions are toward you. Okay, so we have the Four of Swords. Okay, so this person basically wants things to remain just the way they are currently. So they're going to be way lazy about taking initiative and making you moves to uh, make this relationship progress and they're going to be you're going to notice that they're super passive very laid back not really doing much of anything for the relationship and for some of you this person not only plans to be completely inactive but they also plan to isolate themselves from you so because personally i always get the four of swords in love readings when there's a lack of communication and there's someone distancing themselves from someone else so, at best, the Four of Swords tells me that this person's intentions is to have no intentions at all. They don't want things to advance or progress. They're okay with the way things are. Um, at worst, they may plan to distance themselves from you and give you the cold shoulder. Alright, so let's move on to number two and let's see their truest intentions toward you. Okay, so we have the Eight of Pentacles. So if you're looking for someone with good intentions, guys, this is the card that you want to see. This is someone who's willing to put in the work, um, effort, commitment, just everything into a relationship to make it work. And this is the type of stuff that F-boys and F-girls hate to do because they don't want to 
put in work into anything and they want something easy going and free flowing but this person is the complete opposite of that and this person is actually seeing potential with this relationship and whether this is an ex or a current lover um they're more they were more than happy to um put in work into the relationship to make it a success <laughs> So if you're looking for someone who is serious and about their business when it comes to love, you have found yourself a lucky one with this one. All right. Number three, let's see their truest intentions toward you. All right. So we have the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. So this person is just here to play around, guys. They don't want anything stable at all. This person's true intentions is to come and glow, go as they please. So this is someone who wants to pop in and out of your life as they see fit. Okay, so the best way I could describe this person, this is someone who doesn't really care about your wants and needs. Not in a, narcissi not, not in a narcissistic way, but um, they're focused on themselves. So, for example, if you're feeling lonely and you need them around, this is not someone you could rely on. Um, but funnily enough, if they want your presence, and they need your validation, they expect you to be here for them. So this is someone who's very unreliable, and they're only around when they want to be around. They're not really caring about what you want. Um, so they never want to inconvenience themselves for you. Um, so this person's intentions are going to be very inconsistent. They're going to randomly appear in your life and randomly disappear because they only want you around when it's convenient for them. And... I mean, some of you might not mind this. This isn't like a bad intentions or anything. No one's good. If everybody's on the same page, no one will get hurt. Um, so maybe you actually like a dynamic that's very go with the flow, very unpredictable, very aimless and no direction. But if you are looking for someone who has a clear direction and destination with you and you want to settle down with someone, <laughs> this, this person is so not for you. Okay. All right, so number four, let's check out their truest intentions. The Three of Swords. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, so, okay, so basically this person plans to break your heart, and if this is an ex, you've probably already experienced heartbreak with this person already, so you already know this. Um, some people get into serious relationships knowing that it's not going to last long term, um, but because they want companionship, um, they deal with it for the time being. But they know that some day in the future they're going to break up with that person. And that's what's going on here. Um, not going to lie, I've been guilty of doing this. Like, um, I really like a guy and stuff, but I just know that maybe I'm not in a stage of wanting to settle down. Or maybe I get this gut feeling that this person's not the one. I know there's nothing wrong with that person per se, but I just don't see it long term but for some dumb reason I still choose to pursue a relationship with that person and it's so wrong because you know you should never get into a relationship knowing full well that you have no plans on staying long term or you plan on breaking up with that person and so that's what's happening here this person knows that they're going to have to break your heart um if this is an ex they've probably done it already and if this is someone that you're currently interested in watch out please watch out because the three of swords is worrying me and i'm worried about your soul um because it might seem like they're in it for the long haul but they may plan on ending things in the future okay all right guys so if you love this type of pick a card reading pick a card content let me know by liking commenting and subscribing